Ever wondered how prepared you are to handle unexpected situations that might threaten your safety? In our world, understanding personal safety and awareness is more crucial than ever, and one tool that can help us navigate this is Jeff Cooper's Color Code. It's a psychological framework designed to assess and respond to various levels of awareness and readiness in different scenarios. Created by Jeff Cooper, an eminent firearms instructor and author, this color code enables individuals to understand and categorize their mental state for personal safety. The code is split into four main states, each signifying a level of awareness from being completely unaware, to being in a heightened state of awareness, ready to react to imminent threats. Interestingly, the value of this color code extends beyond self-defense. It can be applied in various contexts including personal safety, emergency readiness, and even in our day-to-day -day lives. Let's unravel the mystery behind Jeff Cooper's color code. Scene script. First, we dive into the white code. This is where we are most vulnerable. Imagine you're deeply engrossed in a book or perhaps you're daydreaming on your daily commute. You're blissfully unaware of your surroundings, lost in your own world. This, my friends, is the white code in action. In this state, your awareness of the world around you is minimal, if not non-existent. It's like being in a deep sleep, oblivious to potential threats. And it's not just about physical danger. Think about the times you've missed your stop because you were so engrossed in your phone. That's the white code at play. But here's the catch. The white code isn't ideal for our safety. Why, you ask? Well, when we're this disconnected from our environment, we become easy targets. It's like walking around with a sign that says, hey, I'm not paying attention. Let's think about it. If you're a pickpocket, who would you target? The person engrossed in their phone or the one scanning their surroundings, alert and aware? The answer is pretty obvious. The white code is a state of vulnerability. It's a state where we are easy prey because we are not aware of what's happening around us. It's like being an ostrich with its head buried in the sand, hoping that if it can't see danger, then danger can't see it. But we all know that's not how the world works. And it's not just about potential physical threats. Being in the white code can lead to missed opportunities or even embarrassing situations. Ever walked into a lamppost because you were too busy texting? That's the white code for you. The key takeaway here is to avoid the white code whenever possible. It's important to stay connected with our surroundings, to be aware and alert, because, as the old saying goes, forewarned is forearmed. Being in the white code leaves us open to unexpected threats. So let's strive to shift from white to yellow, the state of relaxed alertness, and take the first step towards enhancing our personal safety. Now let's step up to the yellow code. We're awake, aware, and ready. The yellow code symbolizes a state of relaxed alertness. It's like being a cat lazily lounging in the sun, yet ready to spring into action at the slightest rustle. This is the state we should aim to inhabit in our daily lives. It's not about living in fear or paranoia, but about being cognizant of our surroundings, conscious of potential risks, and prepared to react if necessary. Imagine you're walking down a bustling city street. You're enjoying the sights and sounds, but you're also aware of the people around you. You note the man walking a bit too close, the car speeding down the road, the construction happening overhead. These are all elements of the yellow code. You're not just existing in your environment, you're engaging with it. Or picture yourself at home, relaxing after a long day. You're comfortable, but not complacent. The doors are locked, the alarm system is on. You're aware of the sounds of your house, the normal creaks and groans. If something sounds off, your ears perk up. You're in the yellow code. The beauty of the yellow code is that it doesn't require you to be a self-defense expert or a seasoned survivalist. It's about fostering a mindset of awareness, a habit of paying attention. And like any habit, it can be cultivated with practice. So, how do we keep ourselves in the yellow code? Stay aware of your surroundings. Make a habit of scanning your environment. Notice the details. Trust your instincts. If something doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. Remember, the goal isn't to live in fear, but to live in awareness. The yellow code is our everyday ally, keeping us alert and prepared. It's the key to maintaining a balance between enjoying life and being ready to respond to potential threats. So embrace the yellow code. Be like that cat in the sun, relaxed, but always ready to spring into action. The yellow code is our everyday ally, keeping us alert and prepared. In the orange code, we've spotted a potential threat. Our senses are heightened. This is the realm of the orange code. It's a state of heightened awareness where you've identified a possible threat or danger and you're tuned into it. Imagine you're walking home late at night. You've been in a yellow state of awareness, relaxed but alert to your surroundings. Suddenly, you notice a shadowy figure lurking in an alleyway. Your mind shifts into the orange code. 
you perceive a potential threat and your focus narrows onto it. In the orange code, your body starts to prepare for possible action. Your heart rate might increase, pumping blood to your muscles. Your adrenaline might surge, sharpening your senses. You're not in conflict yet, but you're poised and ready to react if necessary. This is not a state of fear, but a focused alertness. It's about being prepared, not paranoid. You've identified a potential threat, but you're not jumping to conclusions. You're assessing, evaluating, and preparing for a possible need to act. Let's consider another scenario. You're at a public event. The crowd is dense, the noise level high. Suddenly, you spot a suspicious-looking individual moving against the crowd. Something about their behavior triggers your orange code. You're not panicking, but you're paying close attention, ready to act if the situation escalates. In both scenarios, the orange code serves as a mental buffer, giving you precious time to react. It's like having a secret weapon in your mental toolkit, allowing you to be proactive rather than reactive. It's in this state that you decide on your plan of action whether that's to confront, escape, or alert others. Remember, the orange code isn't about living in fear. It's about understanding your surroundings and being ready to respond. It's about ensuring your personal safety and the safety of those around you. The orange code primes us for action, giving us a jump on potential threats. It's the mental gear that keeps us one step ahead, ready to switch into action mode if the situation demands. It's a crucial part of Jeff Cooper's color code, a tool for awareness that can make all the difference in a world full of uncertainties. Finally, we reach the red code. A threat is imminent and we are ready to respond. The red code represents a state of highest alertness, where we're not just aware of a potential threat but are now faced with an imminent danger. It's the point where our body and mind are in full synchronization, ready to take decisive action. Imagine walking down a dark alley at night. You've been cautious, your senses heightened, when suddenly a shadowy figure emerges from the dark, advancing towards you with apparent malicious intent. Your heart races, your palms sweat, and your muscles tense. This is the red code in action. In this state, your focus narrows down to the immediate threat, and all your energy is directed towards handling it. Your body is primed for action, whether that's to fight, to flee, or to take any other necessary step to ensure your safety. However, it's critical to remember that being in the red code isn't about being reckless or impulsive. It's about being decisive and controlled. It's about having a clear plan of action and executing it with precision. It's about making the best possible choices in the face of danger, all while remaining calm and focused. For instance, let's consider a situation where you're caught in a building fire. In the red code, you'd be fully aware of the imminent threat and ready to act. You would quickly recall your fire safety knowledge, locate the nearest exit, and evacuate as swiftly and safely as possible. But the red code isn't just about physical readiness. It's also about mental resilience. It's about having the mental fortitude to face the situation head on, to assess the threat realistically, and to take the necessary action without hesitation. In essence, the red code is a state of full preparedness, both physically and mentally, to handle imminent threats. It's the culmination of all the previous states of awareness, leading us to a point where we're equipped and ready to secure our safety. In the red code, we're poised for action, ready to secure our safety. And that, dear listeners, is the highest level of Jeff Cooper's color code. So, what does Jeff Cooper's color code mean for us in real life? Well, it's not just a mental exercise. It's a practical, everyday tool that can be used to enhance our overall awareness and readiness. The color code isn't limited to self-defense scenarios, it's applicable to a broad spectrum of situations, from personal safety and emergency preparedness to even your day-to-day -day life. Remember, the white state represents vulnerability and lack of awareness. Yellow signifies a relaxed but alert state, ideal for everyday situations. Orange indicates a heightened sense of awareness, where you've identified a potential threat. And red? That's your highest state of alertness, where a threat is imminent or in progress. By practicing and internalizing the principles of Jeff Cooper's color code, you can better assess your surroundings, make informed decisions, and handle potential dangers effectively. With Jeff Cooper's color code, we're not just reacting to danger, we're staying one step ahead.